Okay, let's talk about uh, overset meshes in OpenFun again. This time a little bit more complex. I will introduce you know, how to compute the optimize uh, Chimera hole manually because so far cannot be done automatically. So, so far we have seen that when you, you don't define any option in OpenFun, this is what is done. You, know, you compute this Chimera hole. Okay, which is not ideal because can give you a few problems that we have seen that in previous video. Then a new uh, auction was introduced, uh, and if I would recall, in Open Phone uh, 2212, and this auction permits to get a much better Chimera hole like this using these two auctions: hold layers, use layer. That we talk about that in previous videos. So if you are not familiar with this auction, we invite you to look those videos that you have in the video description. But now also we saw that Ansys Fluent give more flexibility and Ansys Fluent compute something like this, which is not possible to compute with OpenFone uh, using the default option. However, it can be done manually, you know, carving the hole manually. I will show you how to do that using some uh, mesh manipulation tools, but also you can go into source code and, and get it there. I did it a while ago uh, for steady uh, static cases, then moving cases, moving meshes. Imagine that now you, you have this system moving, this cylinder moving, but also the refinement region needs to move not to capture that shape, uh, that wake as well. And that is tricky. You need to implement requires can be done no synchronizing some mesh manipulations or going the source code. So it is not optimal. And I will leave that to do the implementation to the developers. Hopefully they will do it. Okay, so far you can do it like this, it works. But I'm doing some uh validation, never ending validation just to see if this is enough. So far it's okay. And just to show you here have a little bit more validation. So we have uh, comparison here about here we're comparing CD and CL, no drag coefficient, lift coefficient of this case. We have the single grid, this one. Then we have uh, two component meshes optimized, everything optimized like flowing GIF. And then also where we have one case where we only optimize the background mesh just to see the influence. And as you can see here, the results are quite encouraging and quite good. So the single grid, we can take it as a reference there is nothing now about that, but let's say that those should be the good one. And as you can see now, when we have the OPT all, which is this one, it gets close. There are some differences, minimum and maximum, probably a little bit in frequency, but it's capturing the right physics in drag and lift. And then we have the case that we only optimize the BG. And here we start to see that we're shifting a little bit from the ideal solution. And just to stress, this is just a little bit, and this is telling you that this hole, it is important as we know that it's important because we have gradients close to the wall, so it should be closer. So this is what we're studying and I do a lot of validation for me doing validation is something, so process that can take six months and checking everything, but so far I'm satisfied and I have done some cases with the, uh, some cases with moving meshes and so, so far so good. And just to precise, I'm talking about this, comparing with this case, comparing this with this, and I get similar, very similar results. There is nothing strange, you know, nothing like in this case, like only the, the, the this one optimized. So everything seems okay. Timing, as you can imagine, would be shorter in this one because you have less cases, in particular for large large measures. And that's that is the idea, you know, reduce cells there. So with no further ado, just this was the introduction. Let's go and work in this case. So you should have the cases in the video description. You have the download, and in those cases that you were you're going to find. Let me show you here. So you should have this directory structure, and you should have this one three component meshes extra, and there you have three cases. Okay, so iter one, uh, which is iteration one, will be uh, the single block, or okay, the non-optimized camera hole, okay, which you don't have anything there, it's computed somewhere else. Uh, here you just have the 
the log files now and then actually yes yeah, the single blood then you have the eta 2 which only the chimera hole optimized in the background mesh and then eta 3 that is the chimera hole optimized in all component mesh so let's focus on this one because it will be the same for all the other cases so you go there and as usual let's take a look at the script so you have this script run mesh okay and this one where we have this step. So everything works exactly the same as we have done so far, but to show you how to do sense manually. So we have the cylinder mesh. So let me go to the slides. So the cylinder mesh, there is nothing to do there. Okay. That is remains in touch, but then we have the background and in the background, we need to get that hole. Okay, so how do we do that whole manually? So you have refined stones, block mesh, and then I do this manipulation with top of set. Okay, so in top of set, so you go there, and this is the point that you need to know very well your mesh because you need to give the dimensions how to carve that hole in that mesh, how to get it. So I already know just confronting with Fluent. Actually, I got the same domain as Fluent, so this is a orange to orange comparison with, with Fluent. Uh, if I can do it, I can do it with no problem because I got everything, dimensions and so. So basically I use top of set to select a cell set. It is a cylinder and in this location, okay, I compute it very well. And then extract, you no, know, do the inversion of that selection. And then with the inversion of that selection, there is this command that it's going to uh, remove those those patches there. Okay. So, okay. This, this is removing that and I'm just keeping, so I'm just selecting and let me go here and selecting just the circuit and then do the invert and you keep the rest. So you are removing the cells there. And then the next step is just to, to override this C zero patch and convert it to give it the name overset patch. Okay. So this is the name. And then as you can imagine, the same will happen with the background. You generate the background and in the background, you have the same top of set. You do the same, you get a success there with this name and then you just give it this name. Okay. So in the background mesh, the top of set, again, I went in fluent um, with fluent, I get the optimize optimized values and that is the algorithm now that is part of your your method that how you compute that optimize that i think it should be improved in open phone that is what is missing so this is the box do the box selection again the inversion here just to get everything outside that selection and then you are cutting the hole important that now it will remain there a hole and in that hole that is what in that hole you have their uh, 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 overset patch. And as you recall the Fluent video, okay, later we're going to reopen Fluent just to show you that there we can see better how that information is passed from one mesh to the other. So as you see, it's very straightforward. The same stuff here in top of set, uh, you can implement it uh, manually in the solver. I did it, it's a little bit time consuming, so I'm not going to show you. Also, for instance, the mesh is moving. Also, you can rerun these commands as the mesh is moving. Okay, so it basically would require shifting here according to the starting position and you will do it send, you can program, program that. So it's, it's manual process. Okay. So it's a little bit time consuming. It's not uh, prompt, uh, foolproof. Okay. You can have errors, so you have to be very careful how things are changing the time step because it's time step is too large. You are not going to compute that one. You need to recompute it manually. Instead, if you have it implemented, it might be better. Any case, not, mm, I'm not going to talk anymore about that. And now we have run mesh here. And that's all. The rest is merging mesh. Nothing changed. The only new steps here is that now cut a hole. And in that hole, you need to select that patch as a overset patch. So let's run the command here. It says, mm, this is run mesh and it's going to do the meshes okay cylinder refining zone all the steps and here we're going to the other one and let's wait for the final one so let me check because i already have everything so if you check every single mesh and let me go refinement on and to show you here panophone and you go here and there you go. So you see that we cut the hole here. So we have the hole and what is very important also, okay, that all this will be a patch, it will be an overset patch. Okay, I changed the name there. So 
we have an overset patch and actually there are two overset patches now we have this that is interpolating and then when we cut the hole we have it there so we need to regroup that and then the similar will happen in the uh background mesh here so let me go and just do that one okay okay we already have it here so put it there okay and we have all the patches everything has been grouped have been grouped uh together and as we go here there you have your overset patches so you have a lot of information passing you now from one mesh to the other so this is the hole this will be the hole and let me to make it clear let me open another one okay and let me just put the back face and there you go so we have the back face and this is an overset here okay we have then the other another overset there the other domain and so on and all the holes and a lot of information passing from one to the other so let's do something and let's compute a single time step now to get the cells and to get a better idea what is happening so to do that remember that you need to compute one single time step so you can use any solver so you usually i used to use there is uh, i use over over uh, there is a Laplacian solver with overset so i use that one because it is expensive it doesn't change the solution but yeah I didn't, I don't have it here. So let me do it. It's quite easy. Just put here right now, run one single iteration. So I go here, run solver. I will have one single iteration. Uh, let's run Paraphone building, built in as it is in parallel. I go here, low state. And here we have a few states. I want to use this one where I already set up everything. So there is a previous video also. We talk about how to do the post processing that is there are some particularities there when it comes to post-processing there remember that where they compose do not escape zero time and there you go this is our mesh and we see all the interfaces so we have okay so probably now we got a better idea so this overset patch belongs to this mesh okay to the refinement zone then we cut the hole here and we have another refinement patch he, uh, another overset uh, overset patch here that is passing information so we have donors and a sectors okay receptor so so one is donning and information the other is receiving information and then the same here we're cutting a hole okay the wall the wall is cutting a hole here this hole has been optimized manually you have the overset patch there Okay, so this one's passing and receiving information and this one half as well. And now here, this wall now is not cutting, cut, cutting anymore a hole here. Now that hole was cut in function with, let's say this overset one to minimize you now the overlapping of the regions. So this is the ideal overset meshes, which it's not computing in, in open form, but what we have so far, it worked fine, but this extra step will be it will be a bless, let's say. Okay, so this is it. You have it there. Okay, this is the ideal technique. And let me do something now and let me launch the same case. Let me open the same case in Fluid and let's compare these two cases. Okay, so we open this same case in Fluid. And remember, in Fluid, you can visualize the mesh. Here you have this auction now that it will show you know the optimized mesh the hole and everything so here we can see the optimized and so on and just to point out that what we have here you now this hole that we computed in in in, in open from the top of it is exactly now i i got this information from here so I this on uh let's say i went inside i look for the donor receptor cells and everything and i got the ideal one just to match exactly the same same dimensions so we can have a fair comparison uh and then here also you can visualize you now all your the cell type that you have here so you select the back faces and there you have everything there but here it's not very easy to see everything okay so uh let's move to uh to insight insight we get it better so i open the same cases in insight so also in a previous video we talked about post-processing and 
we saw how to do it here. So here we can see much better what is happening. So here we have the hole, these two holes exactly the same. So we compare here. Okay, let me put this one here. Okay, so this hole here, the back here in the background, and then the one the refinement zone, as you can see, they're exactly the same holes. Then the rest is computed automatically by the solver. So I cannot say that the interpolation is exactly the same in open front and fluent, but I tried to get the best match. So in this case, and let's talk about he, uh, about uh, Fluent, what is happening. So here, all this region, it is an overset patch, exactly the same as we defined here. So this blue one, overset patch. And then also we have an overset patch here. So this will be resector cells, okay? So here we have resectors that we have here as well. Okay, so these two resectors, and then also we have something in the back one, okay, we have also the same resectors. We have it here, exactly the same as you can see. And then the other, the rect that you see are donors, okay? So these are giving information to the other meshes. So we have all that information that we can see here, okay? So we have it there, and there you can get an idea how you are passing information. That information also can be obtain it in Fluent and OpenFone as well by adding a debug switch. And let me show you how to do that. Okay, so to get the same level of information as in Fluent for post-processing, so that is done. Let's go here and we have control dictionary. So as you look at control dictionary, I already put here some debug switches. As you can imagine, these debug switches are going to give you more information. So there are many of them. So as you put this one, it's going to give you more information about overset meshes. And here's where you can get those uh, that information regarding resectors, donors, and so on here. So according to the method that you are using, you enable here. And here you have the comment you now. So to you put it there and be careful that you need to add it now in the exact inter same interpolation method that you're using. So look at here that interpolation methods, you have cell volume weight, inverse distance, list square. So in this case, we use there. So there is something about the voxelation that I don't want to talk about that, but we're going to more advanced auction. So here you can leave this as default, okay? Uh, this is kind of how the Chimera hole is computed. So this is the method chosen in open phone. Okay, so just increase this level here and that's all, okay? So let's rerun this case, okay? Just one iteration to get that information. So in this case, it is fixed. We just need one iteration. Is the body moving? Well, you need to do it the whole, during the whole motion to, to check that information. So now let me go and as you look in the folder, see that now you have a whole of new information so you can get an idea donor id stencil hold and so on so maybe this is the one that we need or well this is the one that we're interested in donor id these two will give you same information but then you have a lot of information computing by, by open form for the overset uh match uh method then here's some other information regarding these are obg obj that I think can be open part of you. Honestly, I haven't opened those files. So let's take a look. Okay, here. So let me launch part of phone built in that we're going to access the case in parallel. And for the moment, let me see if I can open that OPJ file. So I guess it will be better to reconstruct so let's say let's see what we have here so let's see. actually let's see if this is a okay there is nothing there let's see here okay so i need to investigate what is containing those files okay so let's go and open uh, the state so we have load state part of view and we use exactly the same state there and choose your current file so in our case okay will be here the old phone and there you go so remember that you are in parallel that is also 
this is it there and this is what we have so this is exactly the same as previously but now we can access more information so as you go here you have everything okay so you can play around or you can look there to see what do you have in those files but the interesting one so this one also ties pretty much i think they're going to give you the same overset patches that you see there so yeah exactly the same but we're interested it, it is in all donors so look at that when we select all donors this and assuming that well, i actually look also in the source code so these are do this is donor information that we have here so they they use here different indexes now so it goes from minus one to to two so i haven't looked deep into that okay but i guess should be taxed to you know which one is donor receptor hole and so on and probably eventually also here you will have orphan cells and look at what is what is happening okay so this is your hole this is the region here so look at that how we have this region here that we look at this one we have overset plus another fringe you know to interpolate the solution so here probably is a little bit more you now let's say brute force you know they don't do much optimization and they take everything step fluent so just need this fringe and then doesn't need to interpolate here here it takes more more region then you go to the back and here to the re to that refinement region i'm pretty much the same you have the normal overset patch plus all the cells that you need to do the interpolation and here the call catch my eye that it used less cells for that interpolation here so let me go and let me enable here so it's interesting how things are implemented so in the cylinder kind of it used more cells to conduct the interpolation but then you go in the refinement region and around the chimera hole it used less cells so look at that you have just two two or three cells to do the interpolation instead here we have four and then here we have more more cells to interpolate so see here that is taking a lot of cells to do the interpolation and saying in the background now it's passing the information there and probably this can be the reason also why when you have the non-optimal hole why why do you have that lagging now because you didn't have all this enough overlap in the cells so that can have a another influence in this case so see that here we have all the information so you have a lot to do the debugging and so on or to to get an idea what is happening so quite nice there so at this point i think let me close them and right now i just rest to run the case just to show you that nothing changed everything is exactly the same so let's do there command there here i have nothing to command and everything is okay yep so now let me go here let's launch and let's see the outcome and there you go so see you see you later by the way uh disable this debug switches okay otherwise the it's going to slow down your solution and it's going to 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 save a whole bunch of information that maybe you don't need but if you need it it's up to you okay so let's wait for this solution Okay, so we have solution. Let me minimize there. I suspected it run fine. Already know the solution. You have we have everything there. And at this point, let's do post processing to be sure. So everything, nothing changed. Yes, I want to confirm with you that nothing changed. Everything is exactly the, the same. So I go here and uh, load state and uh, let me uh, also this one because i like this one okay ah load state uh, yeah, yeah. i think i messed around that file so let me recover the original one i, I hope i have the original one also here beta 2 all oh. View so, uh, okay. 
Um, and so let's say one, two, three. Okay, so happens sometimes. So be careful about that, not messing around with your states. Okay, so load state um, power view, go there, bam, 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 bam. background, okay, okay. There you go, the case is in parallel. And voila, we're done here, and I want to look at velocity. Okay. Gosh, I show there, and this is it. So we can play, and there you go. So this is what is happening. So imagine that you overlap here the interpolation, and you can get the idea that you are interpolating between different meshes and so on. So, and here we can get a better idea why it's so critical to be far from walls. Remember, walls are always cut in a hole. Okay, so in Fluent, walls, is, they're always cut a hole, and then an overset patch is not cut in a hole, but you can minimize, no, you minimize the chimera hole, reducing the distance between the holes, as you see here, no, that here you have this wall, but this wall cannot cut this entire hole there, like you see there. So to get this optimized chimera hole, you look at also at the overset patches that you have this one and reduce the distance of that overset patch and be sure that this hole is contained here. Here, we don't have that option in, in, in OpenFold, but you can do it manually with no problem. You, you can construct there your overset patches and then you have all the donors and so on. So as you can see there, you can get an idea how that interpolation is happening. So it's a quite neat method to stress Again, do not use it as the body fixed. No, it's not moving like this in the case. It makes no sense. I use it for benchmarking only for that. Okay, but if the body's not 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 moving, it makes no sense. So it's very handy for moving bodies. Also, another uh advice do not use this for less and the simulation because this interpolation completely destroys your your less simulation so do not use it i have seen a few simulations over set with less but they are extremely fine so you can get an idea that when you are interpolating from here to here that interpolation here with stress is non-conservative it is going to destroy all your troubling field in less. So be careful about that as you use it. I giving you a big warning. So okay, I think at this point we are done with this case. Uh, and nothing else to add. So I will the next cases it will be a little bit more interesting. I still we're going to work with uh static bodies but just to introduce uh more standard practices Influence this case that we don't have an open phone, but to get a better knowledge, and then we move to moving about this. So, thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.